I'm really excited about Animal Con, and I think it's a very cool thing that you've put together. And I know, at least in the arachnid community, it's something that we've kind of like, wouldn't it be nice if somebody did this, you know, yeah. but like never had the resources or the know how to do it. Yeah. So when I, you know, when I was talking to you and, and you mentioned it, I was, I know I was excited. And, you know, my friends in the YouTube community, uh, community at least as far as like tarantulas and inverts were, were very stoked. Um, but just for the people listening that maybe aren't even aware of it yet, can you just kind of explain what Animal Con is, when it is, where it is, all that kind of stuff? Absolutely. And I appreciate it. You know, so Animal Con uh, USA is, is, and you can go to animalconusa.com. Um, it's, uh, it's basically an event where creators, we have close to 100 creators right now uh, from reptiles, birds, uh, invertebrates. Uh, we didn't do dog and cat this year. It's something we may add next year, but we didn't do it. We want to keep it a little bit more exotic this year. Yeah, I think we have uh, over 160 million combined outreach between all our creators. So we've got you know the, the top dogs in, 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 in all those worlds. I mean, the, the, the tarantula and invert community has been so supportive of us. So Animal Con is going to happen the last weekend, the 26th, 27th, 28th of uh, August. It's going to be in Orlando, a place called the Creed Royale. And um, in all of these creators, you know, your favorite creators that you've watched, you know, on YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, uh, television as well. We've got Forrest Galante from Animal Planet. We got Brett from the show Tanked from Animal Planet coming. Um, and we're working on a couple other people as well that might be there. And we're adding more people to the list every, literally every single day, more people are we're adding to the list of creators. And so, you know, people that, that are fans of those people, People or supporters of those people can come down to Orlando. There's going to be panels where it's going to be like, you know, say there'll be five invertebrate creators on one panel and they're going to be talking about what it's like to, you know, either keep invertebrates or, or maybe be a social media influencer as invertebrate keeper. Um, and then, they'll, you know, there'll be panels every day uh, from morning till night. They'll actually, every hour, there'll be five different panels going on in five different rooms. So from like maybe small panels, they'll be really intimate with like 50 people all the way up to the main stage where that'll have uh, over a thousand chairs in it, uh, where, where there'll be, there'll be Q and A's where the same thing, same type of thing, five, six, uh, people of like-minded influence with, you know, answering questions from the audience, you know, there'll also be meetups, you know, where, where like, if you want to meet your favorite creator, uh, you can actually have a meetup where you'll get a, a time to take a picture or get an autograph, whatever the case may be. On top of that, you know, there'll be opportunities not only for some VIP ticket holders, but also the creators to, to uh, have, you know, VIP after parties. We've got a Friday night after party, we've got a Saturday night after party. Sunday night, we're actually, you know, going to Gatorland, which is an amazing place. If you haven't been, it'll be closed down, you know, so it'll be just for us, you know? So, uh, so Animal Con has like been a dream of mine for years. And again, it's really based on playlists that, in VidCon, which are the YouTube conventions. But the thing is I've been to VidCon and, and playlists been, been a creator many, many, many times for years and years. And there's literally, you know, I'd go there, there'd be four animal creators, you know, there's 200 creators, but there's four animal creators, you know, and that's a, a whole bunch. I thought, if we put this event on with just animal creators, how cool would that be? You know? And, uh, and listen, I'm a fan of almost every single person. Well, you know, really, I should say every person that we've invited and that is accepted. I'm a fan of too. I've watched your stuff. I've watched the dark den stuff. I've watched, you know, I mean, the, the list has gone on, you know, uh, over the years. And so I'm excited to, to meet all the people that are coming and hang out with them. And, and I'm, I'm a YouTuber, you know? So, I mean, I can't <laughs> imagine like whether it's myself or, or, or other you know, reptile YouTubers in the past or fish YouTubers I know, you know, they'll go to an event like Aquashella, let's say, and Joey from King of DIY will be like the guests, you know, for, for, for the day or whatever. And, and, and hundreds and hundreds of people will come to meet Joey from King of DIY, but they're only meeting him. You know, could you imagine that times a hundred, you know, like you, mm -hmm. you don't have to just say like, Hey, I'm just going to meet Richard. I'm going to meet Richard. I'm going to meet all these other people that I've been following forever. I mean, if you can't tell, I'm so excited, you know, <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm nervous as heck. You know, I mean, we, 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 
we committed a lot. You know, I mean, this is not, this is like a, it's, it's either going to succeed or it's going to fail. And I'm going to lose a lot, a lot of money because there's no, you know, the way we had to do it was there was no halfway. There's no like, ah, oh, we're going to, you know, although I will say we, we're starting smaller this year than hopefully next year will be. Hopefully next year we can double the size of the event, you know, across the board. But that being said, you know, I'm, I'm on the hook for 300 grand is what, what I'm on the hook for. So, so if this thing doesn't go down, I lose $300,000 and, and, uh, and, and, and that's, that's, uh, it's a scary thing, but you know, there's a saying that says scared money don't make money. Right. And, uh, mm -hmm. and I'm not really looking to make money on this. And I don't know if I will make money on it. Quite frankly, if I could break even, I'd be real happy. You know, I'd be real, real happy just to break even and put on an event that everyone's going to talk about all year long, you know? Yeah. I mean, when you look at the attendance of like NARBC, you know, those kind of reptile conventions, they, they're getting thousands of people. People are lined up. You know, I know sometimes when I go to Tinley Park, there's people all the way down that corridor and double yeah. back around just to get in to buy some, uh, you know, snakes or, or tarantulas or whatever. So I think, and, and not, and I don't even think you mentioned the resort that it's at is pretty pretty freaking amazing i was looking at it online it was like the pools and and the playground and the jacuzzi and then all i mean they got a lot of amenities there and it just it's looks beautiful. like a, a beautiful and the, room, and the rooms are really amazing too you know i have stayed there a handful of times um and and, and really the, what happened was playlists like i had talked about the youtube convention started at the creep royale so that's how i i learned about the creep royale is that you know way back in the day five well probably eight nine years ago playlist was there they've now outgrown it and moved just about two miles down the street to the world's uh orlando center you know the rooms are really beautiful they're you know listen Orlando's not cheap, no matter what. But if you're <laughs> staying in a Holiday Inn in Orlando, you're going to be spending 160, 170 bucks for a night. You know that's the way it is. So it was interesting when we first started negotiating with the hotel. The room rate is usually 229 to 249 dollars a night, and so we said, "Hey, listen, we've got to negotiate that down. We can't. We you know, our people can't pay 200 and something dollars a night to come stay at the hotel. We have to get it cheaper." And and I think that our original con uh, deal with them was that they would go down to 189 a night and that was the lowest they would go and and we just kept hammering them and saying we need better we need better we need better and we you know again it's not cheap but we got them down to 159 which again i know i go to orlando a lot literally there is no hotel in orlando unless you're staying at a, a roach motel or something like that <laughs> that's under 150 bucks a night you're going to always pay 150 to 200 dollars a night so we got them down to the lowest possible rate that like you know, like you would normally stay in a kind of a crappy hotel for 150 a night. We got them down to that rate and it's a beautiful, I mean, every room has got, it's either a king bed or, or, or queens, but it's got a, a living room attached to it, beautiful bathrooms. I mean, it's really nice in the resort itself, like you said, is really incredible uh, for the nightlife. And it's gonna be really fun for people to just be hanging out by the pool and the jacuzzi and the waterfall and and all the other things, the amenities. I mean, it has a game room in it, you know, for arcades. It's got you know pool tables and ping pong tables. And so it's gonna be a lot of fun. I think that it's gonna be a blast. You know, probably by the time we launch, I would imagine probably close to 150 creators, but then to have thousands of supporters of all of us together, it's, it's going to be wild. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. In my head, I just think of that, like walking around the pool area with just nothing but animal people just like <laughs> everywhere. And it's going to be, uh, it's going to be really exciting because we only have 4,000 tickets, by the way, and you're, and that's mm. sold out. So that's it. It's done. Like that. Once four thousand tickets sell, there's no more available. And like you said, to give you an idea, the NARBC, albeit cheaper to get in, does over twice the number of people. So, so that, and that's just a reptile show to go buy reptiles. So that's not meeting all these these amazing people and all the amenities that are going to go along with it. Yeah, I'm, I know. I'm super stoked because there's a lot of. You know, like uh, like Petco from Dark Den, Adam from Wiccan's Wicked Reptiles, uh, yeah, Ants Canada. A lot of these guys that I've talked to that are planning on coming that I've I've you know talked through like, DMs for months or years, yeah. but never have met in person. You know, so I'm really excited to you know finally meet these people face to face. And I was super so many other creators. I'm excited about everyone, but I was really personally excited about Mike from Ants Canada. Uh, I've been a fan of Ants Canada for 10 years or whatever it's been. And and mm -hmm. I was a little surprised because, you know, of course, Ants Canada isn't from Ant Canada. He lives in the Philippines, you know? The fact that he was willing, well, both of them were willing to fly over for the show was uh, astonishing. And it was so, I was so grateful and happy to them. You know, because I mean, he had said they had never done a meetup before, ever, you know? So he's like, this is the first time that people can come and 
meet them. And uh, that that's going to be pretty special. And, and again, I'm a huge fan of all their stuff. I love ants. And, you know, like since I was a kid, I was, I was afraid of spiders, but I love dance, you know, so, oh, wow. uh, so, so it's going to be pretty cool to meet those guys. Obviously, the business day, which will be Friday, will be a limited number. I think there's, gosh, I think there's only like, 400 tickets available for for that day because it's, it's so friday will be a much more it's it, for me friday is is more of like people that want to do what we do like maybe they they're an animal lover or they're uh whatever and they want to be an influencer they want to do a YouTube channel. They want to make a business out of it. That's what industry day is more about. It's not as much about like, hey, you know, I'm going to meet my favorite creator. It's more about like, okay, well, how do I do YouTube? What editing equipment do I use? You know, what do you do when you're thinking of ideas or whatever the case is? And it's going to be much more industry based. That's why we kept it a very small number of people uh, as opposed to having a ginormous number of people that'll be Friday or Saturday. But we have the ability, you can buy the whole Friday, Saturday, Sunday passes, the entire weekend passes, but most of the passes will be Saturday, Sunday. So what we'll probably put out on the website in the next week or so will be the the actual schedule of events, but not who's on those events yet. Because who's on those events probably won't happen until about a month before the actual event. So probably the end of July is when we'll reach the actual lineup like this is how it is. And then the same thing goes, it'll probably be probably early July, we'll, we'll start to introduce meetups. You know who's going to do meetups, and 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 then you can you know start booking meetups and stuff like that. And what happens is the way the ticketing goes is like there's one like the top tier is like the VIP. That's for the people that are just like die hard. You know, like if I was going, I'd be the VIP, right? I would be like, <laughs> I'm spending the most money because I'm getting it. And that you literally go to the VIP after parties, you go to the Gatorland event, and you also get you know like priority seating in the in the in the, in the uh, main hall to to watch the talks, and you get the first option for meetups. Because let's say you say, you know, hey, I want to do a meetup. And, and it's like, but we're only going to have 100 people do that meetup for you. Maybe you have 200 people that want to come. So once we're done with the 100 people, we're out. We can't do anymore, right? Now, some creators will probably do like two meetups. So I think we're going to cap 100 people on a meetup just from a time standpoint. We can't have everyone, you know, we can't do more than that. But like some creators, if let's say there's a really high demand for a meetup for them, uh, we may do like Saturday, 100 people, Sunday, 100 people. And listen, I'm going to do the best I can do. That's all I can do. I'm going to... I want it to, I, you know, I want the fans to really enjoy it like a tremendous amount, but I want the creators to really enjoy it too. Cause I want every creator to come back next year. You know, I want everyone to be like, this is going to be a yearly event. We're going to have a great time because I know that we're going to make next year better than this year. I guarantee you that. I want everyone to leave with big smiles on their face, both fans and creators. And, and I'm a creator. So I wanted to make it an amazing event for, for me. <laughs> you know, so I love it. I think it's a good idea. <laughs> that's the way to do it. I mean, and I think it will be, it will almost be like a, a college reunion every year. You know, it's like, it's that one time of year everybody can kind of get together yeah. and, and touch base and fans can come and interact with their favorite YouTubers or content creators. So yeah, it's going to be fun and I'll definitely be promoting it in my videos and on Instagram and stuff like that. So, you know, make sure that the uh, the invertebrate hobby is well represented at Animal Con. <laughs> well, I appreciate you guys are killing it. I appreciate all you guys. Hopefully we'll see you all at Animal Con in August. See you guys. Thank you. We are done. All right, Thank cool. you well, so thanks, much. Man. I, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate all this stuff. And like I said, anything I could do in the future, let me know. And seriously, the invitation's always open, man. You want to come up, we'll have a great time. Seriously.